Welcome back, everyone. I am Brian. You are Chords and Notes Nation. That is voice play with their virtually brand new, less than 24 hours old, video of Seven Nation Army. It's a cover, originally done by the White Stripes. I don't know that band. I've heard that band's name. I know of the guitarist Jack White. I've heard of him. I don't think I've ever heard anything of theirs. Because maybe it's not my music. I don't know. It's the kind of music that I... It may not be the kind of music that I listen to. Uh, I've heard the title of the song, and I've heard the band's name. That's it. So this is kind of a really, really, really true first reaction. Um, and then, uh, yeah. So I'm really interested in what voice play is going to be able to do here. Because they've always been fantastic. You guys have introduced me and, and kind of coached me along into what's, what's going on here. Given me a little bit of background. And I really like that interaction. It's been very respectful. Uh, you guys, there's been a little bit of back and forth about how I do things on this channel. Uh, but this is ultimately the way I do things raw, honest, and unedited. There are reasons for that. Some you don't need to know because it's none of your business. Other reasons it's just because, you know, the time that I have, busy life, this is the best way that I can do it. And of course... I shouldn't say it's the best way I can do it. I could probably do it a little bit better and probably will do it a little bit better. But I like doing it this way because it's you, it's me, you're in my living room. It's kind of like an intimate setting, like you're a friend I invited over, have a seat on the sofa. We're going to sit and we're going to watch and I'm going to give you a raw, honest, and unedited take on, on what we just experienced. Um, and I kind of like doing it that way because I've always done things my own way. Whether success or fail, at least I'm doing it the way that I want to do it. And I'm not doing it the way everyone else wants to do it or the way everyone else wants me to do it because I do not roll that way. Got it? Good. All right. Now, super thanks are available. Maybe not on this video, maybe other videos. Wherever you can find it, it's a button below. I would appreciate that as just sort of a, hey, thanks for taking the time out to do these things for us. We really appreciate it. If you've got to have a video reacted to, absolutely your request will get done you go through paypal or patreon that that information excuse me is in the description box below i'm so excited i just want to get started so we're going to do that here we go boy that bass man good thing it's middle of the day so my neighbors aren't going to get too upset Hit those low registers, can you? I'm fight them all. A seven nation army couldn't hold me back. They're gonna rip it all over. Taking their time right behind my back. And I'm talking to myself at night because I can't forget. singer, right?
Okay, so, um, <laughs> it's voice play, folks. You guys got me hooked. You did. You did. It's just, call it as it is. You got me hooked. I'm really enjoying this journey of, I, I'm not into the backstories right now. I mean, I did a little bit with Jeff Castellucci, uh, and you guys have filled me in a little bit here or there about the, even the names. Um, but right now I'm not into that part of the journey. I'm into the just sit and absorb what's going on sonically, that part of the journey for me. And that's important because once, once I'm immersed in that and I, then I want to know more, then I'll get into the backstory. Okay. Uh, but absolutely feel free to fill me in. Um, it kind of, it kind of helps out a little bit. Especially with my, I got such a time crunch during the week. Uh, okay, so where I'm going with this is, it's a good song. I've, I've got no problems with the song. What I like, what I'm starting to recognize, my ears are starting to recognize a little bit more, are the individual sounds that are coming together to form this soundscape. And the one that does the beatboxing... I think they all kind of make beatbox sounds at some point. But I think there's, is his name Lane? Violin? Whatever you guys call him. I think he's the one that mainly does the beatboxing. Uh, it, it's pretty interesting that, you know, the human voice is such a, a tremendous um, asset. What we're able to do with it when we know how to use it correctly is pretty astounding. And what these guys are able to do, so you've got four in the group, and then they bring in usually a guest vocalist, so five most of the time, or some of the time, whatever. So you've got four or five voices that have learned for each individual performance how to interact and not to... Um, muddy the waters sonically. And it's pretty astounding. It really is. The control. You know, it's easier to strum a guitar and to make it sound right, I think, than it is to um, to have that clearness in the human voice with the vocal cords. Because there's so many things that could affect the vocal cords. You know, how you're feeling, what you ate, the weather, you know, that sort of stuff. Um, and And so I think that adds a little extra special. appreciation is the word I'm looking for to something like this and it's just as I'm as I'm going through this musical journey and I'm focusing on who catches my attention I'm starting to appreciate what each one of them can do individually and of course as a group and I think this is just another prime example of how acapella I think don't know how to categorize it. I mean, is it pop? Is it rock? Is it, it's, it's whatever they want it to be, honestly. And I'm thinking about, I know in the, in, in rock and, and even metal in certain cases, acapella or elements of acapella have been um, um, fused into it. And I'm thinking primarily of one of my favorite bands of all time, Sabotage, who eventually became Trans-Siberian Orchestra. But I want to focus on Sabotage because um, during the Zach years, uh, Zach Stevens years, there were, I want to say three albums that had their middle section was acapella, but it wasn't like true acapella in the sense of like you had only vocals and a bunch of different vocalists doing it it was him layering but then when it came to them performing it it was uh, you know that might not even have been acapella one uh i'm trying to remember my my music theory you guys feel me in so when when you're singing one line 
And that just kind of repeats and goes on and on and on. And after like a bar or two of that line going on, and it will continue on, then you put sing a different line over that different verse. And then on top of that and on top of that, you got like four different lines going at simultaneously, different cadences, different different sounds uh, or sentences, phrases. Um, I don't think that's the same thing as a cappella. Boy, I haven't I haven't been immersed in music and music theory in, in a long time. Um, but anyways, I know, but when it came to live performances, the other bandmates would would take over those different vocal layers and, and it would start to kind of take on an acapella form. Anyways, why am I bringing that up? Because, because I think this is an art form that should be more often than not included in different genres if it fits, if it's, if it's right. Okay. Not, it's not always right. Just like the last one I did, the one with uh, Valhalla Calling. We've had a little bit of discussion about that in the comments. The rap part, it could, you know, a lot of you are saying, well, you know, it could be like flighting and, and it's, it kind of represents that in, in sort of a new new way, you know, a more modern and current way. And that's fine. I get that. But, you know, to me, um, you know, it's, it's an element that didn't necessarily need to be there to make the, the song work. Was it an accent? Was it something that kind of gave it a little bit more of a flourish? Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Did they do it well? Yes, absolutely. Um, and so that's why I'm saying, like, with the human voice and acapella, it really is, I think it's an untapped resource. That was a long way of saying that, wasn't it? It's an untapped resource that should be used and utilized more often as long as it's done in an appropriate way. So we've got all these, uh, I got the sea turtle here on my shoulder. That's it for this one. I really enjoyed it, and I'm going to continue on the voice play uh, journey. God bless you. Jesus loves you. Get Joshua 1-9 in your mind and your heart. Stay strong, folks. I'll talk to you later. Bye.